Tom Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away, so stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. We have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory buyback program. It's got to be smart. We've got to do it the right way. Do you believe in the mandatory buyback of quote-unquote assault weapons? I do believe that we need to do buyback. Let's remember Charlottesville where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the Supreme Court had great courage in doing it. And I give tremendous credit to those six justices. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Madam Vice President, I want to get your response to President Trump. She was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she was... Where do you stand on defund the police? Look, I, I, right. So here's the thing. Defund the police. The, the, the issue behind it is that we need to reimagine how we are creating safety. And when you have many cities that have one third of their entire city budget focused on policing, we know that is not the smart way and the best way or the right way to achieve safety. If for too long, the status quo thinking has been you get more safety by putting more cops on the street. Well, that's wrong. And then also, um, again, what we need to do about taking, uh, demilitarizing our, our schools. On that point, Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath if this and the outcome of this election is not to his liking. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country, think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it.